So my name is Tiana Swank and let me first just say that I'm super excited to do this video because the Book of Mormon is my favorite book ever and I love it and so I'm super excited. Um, first of all, so we're supposed to do this video on our favorite scripture in the Book of Mormon, right? Well, I have a lot of favorite scriptures in the Book of Mormon, so I was contemplating and looking through the notes in my phone because yes, I am guilty. I actually have a note in my phone that is like pages long of my favorite scriptures. Pages long. But anyway, um, so I was contemplating and I was thinking what is the one that I should do for this video? So it's actually Alma 26 three. So the Book of Alma is roughly in the middle of the Book of Mormon. If you haven't read the Book of Mormon, here it is. Anyway, love it. Okay, so 26, three. I like to mark my scriptures. Okay, so this is, and bear with me if I get a little emotional, I'm sorry says, um, Behold, I answer for you, for our brethren the Lamanites were in darkness, yea, even in the darkest abyss. But behold, how many of them are brought to behold the marvelous light of God. And this is the blessing which hath been bestowed upon us, that we have been made instruments in the hands of God to bring about this great work. <sighs> okay, so the reason why I chose that specific verse is because I have a past. Did you see? I have I have tattoos. I have more tattoos. That they weren't just tattoos. They were my first tattoos were purchased with very dirty money. Um I was an addict. I abused alcohol. I abused myself. I was abused myself from others. It was horrible. I led I was I was in the darkest abyss. And it took a lot of things lining up in my life to bring me to the light of God. Behold the marvelous light of God. And I was actually fortunate enough to be born and raised in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But, you know, growing up I was just a rebellious person like some of us just are. And I just thought that it wasn't really my thing. Um, so... I just did all those dumb things. Anyway, when, once again, one thing led to another, and I was brought to the mar the marvelous light of God. And it says, and this is the blessing which hath been bestowed upon us that we have been made instruments in the hands of God to bring about this great work. How ungrateful would I be if I wasn't spreading the word? If I wasn't letting other people know that they could be, they could feel what I feel and know what I know too. That just because you're in darkness now or you were in darkness doesn't mean you can't behold that marvelous light of God. It's there for everyone. And the thing is, where much is given, much is required. If you are a member of the church, if you're not a member of the church, then I hope and pray that someone comes into your life and welcomes you into the gospel because it's awesome. But anyway, this is to members of the church, active members. It is so, so, so important, first off, that we have a strong testimony in the gospel. So whatever you have to do to get that strong testimony in the gospel, you know what it is. You pray every day. You read your scriptures, namely this awesome magical book. You go to church every Sunday and you do what you have to do to worthily enter the temple. And then go off to it. Do that first and foremost. And once you do, you be a member missionary. This world needs member missionaries. Social media missionaries. We need those. We need them because we have been given much this is the blessing which has been bestowed upon us so we can be instruments in the hands of God to bring about this great work. We need to be instruments in the hand of God, in the hands of God. So, please, 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 that is my message to you. Don't doubt anyone who is in a dark abyss. I was in a dark abyss and 
there wouldn't be a single person, I swear, there was probably not a single person when I was doing the stupid things I was doing that ever thought that I would, first of all, go to church ever again. I was not planning on doing that. And second of all, being on social media strictly to spread the word of the gospel. If you can't hashtag something, I'm a Mormon, or social media missionary, don't post it. Anyway, sorry, I can be a little bold sometimes. That's my message. Alma 26.3, Book of Mormon. Another testament of Jesus Christ. Best part about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye!